guys, Millian, aka Stitching Me on Instagram and here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me. I hope you find something of interest. Today is the 31st of December 2022 and I am here with this year's Whip Parade. How exciting. Um, I've got everything I have, all the projects laid out on my couch next to me. On my couch, my parents' couch. <laughs> Nothing here is mine. Um, but, and I have uh, tem attempted to take everything out of their bags and stuff, so there is no crinkling, hopefully. Um, and we can get through this smoothly. I've got a script kind of thingy uh, with all the numbers I need to tell you. And uh, basically what we are going to do is I'm going to take you through all of my stitching projects first. And tell you what my goal was, whether I made it or not. I will tell you all the numbers. I will give you the goal for next year. All that kind of stuff. Then I will. Uh, that will lead me to showing you my Whipco board for stitching. Because this year I have two Whipco boards. And so afterwards I will also show you my Whipco board for crochet and knitting. Then I will show you all the crochet and knitting. And lastly, I will show you a little bit of haul that I got um, for crafting and stuff for next year, in preparation for next year. So first, I want to show you, this is my bullet journal, or was, I should say, for this year, for 2022. Um, I have already almost set up um, my... Uh, bullet journal for 2023. Why was it so hard to say? And in this, I plan my life, everything, but also I have my project tracker. So I have this, and this basically is um, all the projects I have, all the months, and how many stitches I have done on them in each month. And so all the stitches I've done in total per month and in total per project for the year. And then also, ta -da 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 -da, this is how many stitches I've done the entire year. Now don't compare you to this, compare yourself to this. If you have less, that doesn't mean you are stitching, um, uh, stitching uh, not enough. If you have more, doesn't mean I am stitching not enough. It's just how many I managed to do this year. And I am pretty happy. So a little over 40,000 stitches. And I also like that it's like 40,000 and 310. Because 310, let's face it, is kind of a thing. Like DMC Black, if you will. Um, so yeah. That's the entire year. Now let's break it down. First of all, starting off uh, with the focus piece. Uh, I can't remember if I show, told you. I am showing you everything in chronological order by a starting date. At least the stitching. Maybe not the knitting and stuff. But stitching chronologically by starting date. And the first one that, come up, that, that came up is um, Tiger. Which if you've been here before, you know is my focus piece. Or was, I should say. Because I finished it. Uh, and that was my goal for this year. And I did uh, film a clip, or rather my boyfriend filmed a clip of me uh, stitching the last few stitches. And I will insert that here. Are we rolling? Yeah. Okay. I'm purposely keeping it scrunched up a little. Because like in the video I will... Show it properly, properly, yeah, uh -huh. after this clip. Are you like kind of focused on where I'm working? Yeah, nay, no, I'm focused on your face. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. How long have I been working on this? Three years-ish? I think so. Don't look to me, I don't know. You weren't even here when I started this. Yeah. 
I purposely also like saved this color for last because this actually makes a difference compared to if I were to do some of white. these lighter. Well, it's not white technically. This is this is white. <laughs> <laughs> it's not white. Well, technically. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> it's DMC twenty three. Mm. This color or twenty four. But they are pretty close together. You should have seen his face now. Are you all ready for this? Last half a stitch. You like actually? Yeah, I'm focused on it. Yeah, but like it's it's a moment. So. Well, I wanna zoom in completely? No, like straight up. Yes, that's what I mean. Thank you. Da 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 da. Yeah. Focus. Focus. Almost the over. Damn, bro. Okay. Maybe like that. <laughs> now they're all nauseous. Thank you. <laughs> you have to put this in. I'm not presentable. You're always presentable. Oh. Thank you. Okay, but I have to show you the 100%. There we go. There it is. Wow. 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 We're done, guys. So we will get back to the video and I will show you the entire thing. Okay, there's something on my phone. Nasty. Let's ignore that, please. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, for the big reveal. Here it is. Yeah. Just a moment of silence, please. Beautiful. It is not washed yet. Um, which makes it very scary. There's only three or three ten. There's only DMC in here, and this fabric is just a plain jobelin. There is no dyed stuff on here, so it should do fine being washed in just like lukewarm water and uh, uh, a gentle dish soap. Right? <laughs> Can you please encourage me? <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Because this is my, by far, my biggest um, accomplishment so far. This was my biggest finish before. This was also my first, well, not finished, but my first project ever. And now this one takes its place for biggest finish ever. And this is in total like over 40,000 40, stitches. Of which I have done 18,979 stitches in this year. Um, so basically I will wash it now. I will dry it. Perhaps block it. And iron it and uh, have it professionally framed. And I have found that... Um, I have found a store that also frames stuff. But I... I'm not really sure if they are uh, good for framing hostage because this is a lot different than normal canvas, if you will, um, because of the tension differences. So since this is like not one that I really enjoyed, of course I still love it, but I didn't really, really enjoy it, like my have nerves, for example. Plus it wasn't that big, like 40,000 stitches, compared to the almost 400,000 stitches of Spring Queen, for example. Uh, I might use this to test them, to see if they do a good job at framing cross stitch. And if they do, I will use them again for um, bigger pieces. Now, this is stitched on 28 counts Jobelin 2 over tool full cross with the call for DMCs. Uh, on hindsight, I should have started this one over one full cross or 
uh, 2 over 1 10 stitch, which is my current favorite, but I don't know if that would work on Jogelin. Um, but when I started this, I was kind of a beginner. So when I got the fabric in the store, I asked the lady if uh, I should start over one. And she was like, well, you're a beginner. You, you shouldn't do that. And I barely got like a page in and I was like, well, I should have done it over one. Because I, I would have liked, I would have preferred the detail if it was one over one. But it is, it doesn't look that bad on, on camera. It's like a little bit blocky, but not that much. So it's fine. He's finished, guys. He's actually finished. Uh, which also was my goal for this year. To finish it. And I obviously accomplished that. Sorry, my nose is... is um, floss tube. Such itchy noise, nose. Okay. Next up. Twilight Bridge. After this, I started Twilight Bridge. Um, I just remembered I should have taken the thingy in which I noted down when I started stuff, but it's okay. Twilight Bridge. Here we go. This is a, sorry for the glare, a Dimensions Gold Collection kit. Starting it on everything that came with the kit, including the 18 count Ada. I will... I did not put in a picture of where Tiger was last time, but I might manage to fill it in somewhere. Um, put in a picture of where this was last year. And here we are now. Basically, um, yeah, so. Since you've seen this last, I have seen, I, I have done 5,393 stitches. And my goal was two full pages. Um, pages that I have made up myself, by the way. Um, so I've divided it in like four pages across and three from top to bottom. So what I had done was these three. And now I have also done this one at the bottom. And I have started on this page. And my goal was to finish it also, but I didn't. And I will, uh, my new goal is to finish that page next year. I simply don't really enjoy stitching it, but it is a really beautiful picture. And it is my boyfriend's favorite. So I still want to try and slowly keep going on this so that eventually it will be finished. So yeah. Hopefully I can manage that and finish this page by the end of the year. Anything else I need to tell you? Don't think so. Nope. Okay, next up. Uh, I started Waterhole Master and I know when I started this. I started this. Um... On the 10th of December 2020 because it was my birthday new start so the 10th of December and 2020 because I uh, after that tried to manage um, to get as much of the black done within 2020 to get to a point where I have exactly 21,000 stitches of black left in the piece which I then completed in 2021 which is really satisfying and that already spoils it. I am doing this extreme cross country. Sorry for the sniffing, guys. Now, this is Waterhole Master. Uh, the printer did not do it justice. It is a little bit less red and more beautiful. And it's not focusing, is it? No. There we go. This is a chart... Um, by Heaven and Earth Designs, and uh, designer is David Penfound. Just a regular size, regular colors. And the 
this uh, I will put in a picture of where I was last year. And here we are now. So everything that is colors I have done this year. The black was already done. And then, or well, maybe if I remember correctly, but you will have seen on the before picture, I had done like a few blueish stitches and stuff because I was done early with the black. But I will take you through some interesting stuff like this open space that's an elephant, like air, air face trunk, if you will. And zebras are very obvious. There's an ara, parrot, whatever you want to call it. And then in here somewhere there's a butterfly. And, 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 believe it or not, but this stuff is going to be a hippo somehow. Then flamingo. Uh, paradise bird? No. Crane. I think it's a crane. And, 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 and. There's a lot more. There's like a beautiful tree in the background here, but it doesn't come out yet. So yeah. Oh, uh, giraffe. Giraffe, giraffe. Yeah, behind the needle miner. Giraffe neck. <laughs> so yeah. That is Waterhole Master. This is, uh, this I am stitching on 28 count easy count Schweigart fabric. Two over one ten stitch. Extreme cross country, obviously. Now the numbers. I have done since, uh, so this year, 7921 stitches. My goal was to get to 15%. I did not reach that. Uh, and at the beginning of the year, I was at 9.16%. I managed to get to 12.23%. That is where it, it, it is at now. And again, my goal for next year is to get to 15%. Give me a second, please. I need to uh, blow my nose. <laughs> and I'm back. Yes. Okay. Uh, my parents are grabbing some coffee. The coffee grinding itself is done, but if you still hear some rumbling in the kitchen, that's them. Um, first up, or first up, next up, <laughs> feels like I'm just now starting to film, uh, is Spring Queen. This is another Heaven and Earth. Um, a, uh, by, by the designer Bridget Ashwood. And I know you're not supposed to have favorite children, but yeah, let's face it, this is my favorite. And also the biggest I still I have now. It is a regular size, but it's still like huge. Uh, I am doing this max color though. So what is it? 200 and 38 colors. 238 colors. I started this for Mania, so in May, in last year, so 2021. So this is already over a year old, which is pretty sad because I've only done one page. Um, I will put in a picture of where I was last year. And here we are now. Oh, wait, no. Um, yeah, you, you have not seen a picture because I will put in a clip first of me finishing this page. Boo? You wanna hold the phone? For a second, please. Hold me here. It's already recording. Make your way through the candy. <laughs> Just zoom in on like the stitches, so you can see the last bit. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. So this is basically the last six stitches. Yes. And three colors of this page. 
Do you mind being on here with your voice? Yeah. Okay. And now I want to be quick so you don't start shaking. <laughs> Maybe I should have done like the last four or two stitches. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish you could see his face now. Of course my hands start sweating now. Damn it. And also, of course, all of these stitches are the last few stitches in the column, because this is the end of the rows, so I have to end them all. Last two stitches. You shaking already? No. No. Can you get a bit closer? Yes. Oh, come on, needle. Yes. And that is the first page of Spring Queen done. Thank you. <laughs> There you go. And we're back. Um, I will put in a picture of where I was last time. And here we are now. <laughs> we are getting there. So that's really beautiful. That is just that top left. Eh rows there so that's tiny tiny piece of the piece um i have done 5205 stitches on this piece this year uh, my goal was a page finish and i completed that next year i want to get this to five percent which basically means uh, a bit more than 10,000 stitches so one page and then a bit more and i have chosen i would probably do the like the, the the entire piece or page for the one below because i can choose like right so i can go back go further to the right or i can go down and i believe what i want to do is go down because i looked it up and uh, if I go down, wait, this is upside down. Mm -hmm. You were screaming at me, right? Uh, if I go down, I get another flower and a piece of the butterfly. So it's like a new, exciting color scheme. And then I will finish off the 10,000 stitches uh, next to it. So we will get into a bit of the vines and almost finish the rows and stuff. So yeah. That is what we are up to. Anything else I need to tell you? Yeah, also easy count. Um, 28 count, 2 over 1. 10 stitch. Swigart easy count fabric. All of my hates are on that fabric because I just liked it. Um, and I'm staggering blocks. Pretty strictly stitching everything. Uh, parking down and ending to the right. And uh, like... On the edge uh, column, I will also sometimes park to the right if I can't park it down, but that's okay. Okay, good. Next up. Uh, the other side of my script thingy is Ukraine. This is... A chart that I found on Etsy 
and I am stitching this to support Ukraine and everyone uh, negatively affected by the war. So yeah, that's what I'm stitching. And I started this this year, I believe. So there's no before picture. And this is where we are at now. And really, I should have finished it because it's just a tiny piece and I am um, I can easily finish this. So my goal for this. Um, so I had no goal last year also. Uh, for goal, my goal for this next year is to finish it. This year, this is exactly 1200 stitches, which is pretty um, satisfying. Okay. But if I recall correctly, I don't think I put it on my Ripco board, but I will just uh, stitch on it as a travel piece. So I will take it to my boyfriend and stuff. Okay, next up. Uh, mini reading time. This is already my last stitching whip. Uh, another hate, of course, because we like hate. Um, if you're new here, I'm trying to stitch or to start like a new hate every year or so. So um, for every calendar year, I have started as a new hate. So I've been stitching for three years now because I have three, three hates. Um, I am doing, doing that because if I start everything I want to start, I will never finish anything. And um, so this is what I'm trying to do. Mini reading time was started this year. Um, this is the cover picture. Uh, it is chartered by Heaven and Earth, artwork by... Reynold Spengler, of course. Why can I, how did I forget that? Um, and this is a chart that I started together with Laura from Colorful Stitching Girl. I will link her down below. She is doing a lot of hates and getting more progress in as well. So she's an amazing floss tuber, amazing mom. Um, we started this together. We have been wanting to start something together for ages now and we finally did it. So uh, yeah, I am doing this, you will see in a second, in a pretty chaotic way. Uh, because my brain likes complicated. Not in all parts of life, just to be clear. But for stitching methods, I like complicated. Um, she is doing more of a traditional starting in the left upper corner and uh, working her way out. So if you want to see that, go over there and watch her. What I'm doing, and I'm going to explain this briefly, because if I do it in detail, we are going to be here a while. Uh, this basically looks like a puzzle. <laughs> and it feels like that. And that's why I, I really like this. Um, I had no goal for this year because it started this year, obviously. Also, by the way, a 28 count easy count fabric by Swigart. Uh, 2 over 1, 10 stitch for all the hates. And um, I have done this year 1612 stitches. And my goal for next year is to get to 5%. And it's a mini, so we can, we can get there. So what I'm doing is these arrows are the page lines. And I am randomizing a block per page. So, uh, and for every two blocks that I have done in one page, I am doing one in the next. So... In this page, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there should be 4 in the next page. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, that's right. So there should be 2 in the next page. 1, 2. Exactly. And another one in the next page. And that was all the way over there. <laughs> so that one. And this is basically the edge of the pattern. It's like over here is the end. So, yeah. Okay. Um, perfect. How do I explain this further? Well, if you want to see, uh, get an explanation in more detail, uh, you can watch my Flush Tube Extra that I uploaded like last month or the month before. 
uh, about me starting this speech because I explained it a lot better in there. Okay, so 5% we want to get to next year. And this is where we are at now. And stuff that you can all already see is like, um, if you zoom in on, for example, these two blocks, this edge or corner of them both are brown and this is greenish. So that is the edge of the owl here, that edge. And then if you look at the baby next to it, that you can already see here. This is the top of the head of the baby. So there's an ear here and an ear here. And then this is the side of the head. So yeah, kind of exciting to me at least. Okay, that's all the projects. Now I will get into Wipgo and the crochet and um well I can I can do the, the whole part first, like it's just a little bit. Um I got a new little agenda kind of thing uh, to note down how many stitches I've done each day so I could just write down the project and the amount of stitches. That's all I need. It's like tiny. And I like that. Then I also got this uh, Christmas ball. I guess. <laughs> and I can open this from the top. I will not do it because it's like, like right now because it's pretty hard to get back in. Uh, I will take out the feather and I will use this as my 2023 Ort jar. So I will put every, uh, all the uh, ends that I snip off uh, of my threads, put them in here. And you will see the layers throughout the year of which projects I have worked on, which is the idea. And uh, maybe it's going to be a bit small, but I don't know, because I can just pack it down when it gets to the top. So I guess it will be fine. So that's the bit of hole that I wanted to show you. Don't fall down, please. Oh, and it's plastic, by the way. It's not glass, but still, I don't want it to break. <laughs> Um, I did get a notification that my battery is low, so I kind of want to check and to get it on the uh, adapter first. Give me a second. Okay, it's on the adapter. <laughs> All the interruptions this Um, Let's hope it doesn't get pulled down by the adapter because it's kind of instably positions against some stuff, but yeah, it will manage. Um, whip go. Where did I put all the, oh, right next to me, of course. Okay. So how am I going to do this? Yeah. So basically for stitching, I have two boards, stitching and one for crochet and knitting. Uh, so basically every month I get four blocks cut. If you're new and you don't know what Whipco is, it's a brainchild by Anna Marie Dustoff, also here on YouTube and Instagram, I believe. Um, and it's basically where you have a Whipco or bingo board, so five by five, and you can choose to leave the middle one out or fill it in and I fill it in. And uh, you put your own goals in, uh, whatever you want, stitch counts, uh, time, um, just stitch on it or touch it, however much, um, whatever you want to put in there, you can put in there. And uh, Jessie Marie calls two or randomizes two blocks every month. And that's what you work on for that month. And you basically make up your own rules around that. Uh, for my first bingo board or whipco board, I uh, have put in my four main stitching projects. So everything except for Ukraine, basically. Ukraine is going to be travel project and I will work on that whenever. Um, then we've got Spring Queen, get it up to 5%. 
Water Hole Master up to 15% and uh, Twilight Bridge one page and reading time to 5%. I have calculated how many stitches that is going to be. Most of them are rounded numbers and Twilight Bridge already has a few stitches taken out of it and the entire piece is going to be 36,400 stitches. But, um, yeah, take it with a grain of salt, basically, is what I'm saying. So my goal for next year is a little over 25,000 stitches, which should be manageable because I did 40,000 stitches this year. Um, but I'm also putting uh, more focus on my stitching and crocheting projects. Um, so my goal for next year for stitch count is lower. Um, and I have divided that for the amount of stitches basically and then we got and over like 25 blocks um, 11 blocks for spring queen 7 blocks for what the whole master reading time is 3 and twilight bridge is 4 blocks and that brings us to this is my whipcord board so you can pause it if you want to read it let's see what is where um, the numbers for January are already called and they are light gray up there. So we are going to be working on Twilight Bridge and Water Hole Master next month. And down here you can see what I will do with colors. You've got called and not finished. These two now obviously and the rest is still white. Not called, not finished. Then we have a bit of a darker gray called and finished, but not within the time because I am limiting myself a bit to the month that I are called in. I really want to try to finish in the goals within that month. Um, so if I finish them, let's say they are called in January, but I finish it in February, it's called and finished, but not within time. Uh, but if it's called and finished within the month it's called in, you get called and finished in time. So the darkest one. And of course, like last year, we are going for a blackout. Um, but I am... Uh, last year I didn't manage a blackout. So, but we are going to try it this year. Also, I am going to try and uh, implement my last year's um, reward system in this year as well. So for every column I get done, I add five bucks, five euros to my stitching budget or crafting budget because I also buy my yarn and stuff from that. Um, so that's that whip go board. Then I have another whip go board for my um, knitting and crochet. And basically, We've got three projects. We've got the sweater that I'm crocheting for my mom. We've got my socks that I am knitting for my mom. And after that, I will start for my boyfriend. And a blanket that I'm knitting for my best friend. Sweater I want to try and finish, but it was really hard to divide it into stuff. So I'm just going to say working out on it for three to five days in that month and see how far I get. But it's still my goal to finish it. Then uh, the socks I have given um, eight blocks. And each block is going to be a third of a sock. Ish. Um, and my mom's, mom's socks, I've already finished one and uh, started the second. So two blocks, the first two blocks that will call, be called with socks, I will finish my mom's socks. And then I have six left. And that will take me through my boyfriend socks, if you get the drift. Then we have the blanket, which also got eight blocks. And for each month that that is called, I will put in, uh, knit up five more squares. And what that means, I will show you in a second, because I will show you the projects. And so here is the whipcord board for knitting and crocheting next year. And again, the first two numbers are already called. So we are going to be working on the blanket and sweater next month. So we've got Toilet Bridge, Water Home Master, blanket and sweater for next month in January. Okay, 
Dat is Wipco. Nou. We've got. Just the knitting and crocheting to show you. Uh, in no particular order. I'm going to start with the socks. Now these are just some plain black socks. That I'm knitting for my mother. Just regular socks. It's like really black. Because it's. If I hold it against the light, you can't really see any texture. Um, I still have these stitch markers in here so that I don't have to count it 20 times <laughs> to make sure I match it with the second sock. And yeah, I am working on the second sock. And I am running out of yarn, which is the reason I is, uh, it is not finished yet. So I will try and get more sock yarn of the same stuff and finish this up so that I can start the socks for my boyfriend. Uh, so basically, this is only the cuff and a little bit of the leg. I want to finish the leg and like get a good part of the heel done uh, for the first or like the heel entirely. For the first block that is called and the second block, I want to finish that second sock. So it's uh, somewhat how I want to divide it. Next up is the sweater that I'm crocheting for my mother. I have two giant balls of yarn. Uh, it should be enough. And I first crocheted this cable stitch thingy which, which goes around the neck like this and down the body like this and now I have started on the body itself by just I think it's double crochet single double I think double and this is like really easy going back and forth but the stuff picking up stitches here and it's decreasing and increasing and everything and it, uh, it's weird <laughs> So this is the stuff that I need to figure out. and But yeah, for now it's looking okay. Okay. Uh, so we will keep going on that for every time it's called uh, three to five days that month. Then we have the blankets. And that's the last piece I need to show you. E. I am knitting a blanket for my best friends using these colors, which is pretty, 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 in my opinion. And uh, it's a mitered square blanket. And last time you've seen this, I already had finished this stuff. So three base squares, two connecting squares and the body square or main square or whatever you want to call it with a black border in between now I have finished a second one yay so believe it or not there's two and next time I want to connect the two so it becomes one big thing and I still need to work in the uh, yarn on the back of course and I made one little mistake here, but what do you do? Um, so yeah, I like the feel of this. It's really soft. And it will just keep on going like this. And what I'm doing basically is you've got columns and rows and uh, each column and row has a color. So these are all solid colors. So both the column and the row are solid or are the same color and then whenever they cross along so here we got white and pink you get a striped pattern um, white and gray white and gray and striped and gray and pink makes a gray and pink square hope that makes sense so that's what I'm working on for my best friend And uh, people always ask me why my needles are bent. I purposely bought uh, needles that are bendable. Uh, and that's because when I have a needle that is straight, this is not straight, but, and I put it under my arm, 
it ends up like to the side. Compared to if it's bent, it ends up in the middle in front of me, which is where I want to be so my body doesn't get all messed up. So yeah, that's the explanation behind the bent needles. And I believe that's everything. Yeah. Okay. Now. I have already done my haul. Let me just double check so I didn't forget anything. But I believe that's it. So yeah, I hope you all had a wonderful time with Christmas. And you will have a great new year. And... Um, I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. Happy stitching. Bye guys.